Hey, hello. I wanted to welcome you to uh, a little tour of my 2005 Casita trailer. And since we bought it then, I've made a lot of improvements and I'd just like to show you some of them. So come on over. Okay, I wanted to show you this uh, cover I made for the tire and also for storage. And um, this is my little nod off the Airstream. And um, this thing covers the tire, has, the, has additional storage inside. And the cool part is, is that this bike rack will just lift right off. And then I can hang my bike right here. And then when I don't need the bike rack, it just stores out of the way. Like that, simple and easy. Hey, I wanted to show you this little table I made and modified the one that came with the casita because it was very difficult changing the table into a bed. So I made this change and I want to demonstrate it to you. So first of all, we can sit here, my wife and I, but if we have more people come over, it's real simple to make the table larger. Just flip this over like this. And another thing that's nice about this table is that when this comes up, it allows for easy access to below it. I have my power inverter, my battery power inverter. Also, it's easy to get at the storage. The table's not in your way. But the best part is, when you want to turn this over to a bed, all you have to do is drop this down, flip this over, and then take your cushions, lay them out. And this is a memory foam mattress that just rolls out and makes a queen size bed. And when you're done, you just roll it back up, tuck your cushions away, This flips right up, flips right up. And you're all set, very easy. I saw the new TV at this location. It works better for us when we're dining and also when we're watching from bed. But another feature about this TV that's really great, it hides all the stuff I installed behind it. So what's behind here is I have my power supply for all my USB devices. I added a thermostat for the baseboard heater. I moved the switch from the water heaters, the electric water heater, so it's here. And what's really nice is that not only does it cover everything up, but it hides everything when I put the TV here. And another nice feature is, is that when we're charging our cell phones at night, you can plug everything in you want up here, drop all the stuff in here, shut it, and no more blinking lights when you're sleeping. This thing works great. Here was the water heater and indicator control, and there's a switch here. And the problem is, is every time I was walking to the casita, I'd end up bumping it and turning the water heater off and on. And the same thing right here with the water pump, there was the switch here to turn that off and on, and it would also get bumped. So what I did was, I moved the switch up here and I moved the indicators up here so that the water heater pump now is controlled by that switch and the water heater is an indicator of status is controlled by this switch and when you're not using them turn them off and no more bumping into things and turning things on accidentally. Also another problem bumping into buttons and everything else was the refrigerator. So what I did is I made this piece of aluminum here and I attach it so it leaves room for your fingers and you can control all the buttons and see how things are going. But when you walk by, you don't bump into anything and accidentally turn on the refrigerator or turn off the refrigerator or change the settings. Works great. Hey, one of the new things I've recently done is I took out the old microwave and I installed this microwave. But the best part of this microwave is that this is not only a microwave, it's also an air fryer, an oven and microwave. So when you have, when we're hooked up to 110, this thing is great. Now in order to install this, when I took out the old one, I had to line the inside with sheet metal. And I, here I took out the small four inch vent and I installed a large eight inch vent. And at this vent behind here, 
I install the fan. So when you turn on the microwave, the fan comes on, it blows cool air through the whole thing and everything works perfect. This is a great thing to have when we have hookups. When we got the casita, it came with a little tiny drawer here that only came out about 16 inches. So I cut out the fiberglass here and I put in a nice full extension drawer that has at least twice as much space. I also made the opening down here larger for easier access. So this works out really nice. Recently, another thing I've done is I put in a new vent because the other one had failed. But what really makes this vent nice is that this whole kitchen area has always been really dark, especially, you know, looking inside the upper cabinets. So this vent has a built-in light. So this really solves the problem and makes it really easy to work in this kitchen area. I've installed a 110 volt baseboard heater here at the floor. And one thing that's really nice about this baseboard heater, it makes no noise. And the other thing is, is that it keeps the trailer nice and toasty when we have hookups. But one of the things I wasn't expecting is that when the baseboard heater is on, especially on a cold night, it dries the towels that we hang above here after we shower. And also, if we have a robe here, you can get up in the morning and have a nice toasty robe when you wake up. Hope you enjoyed seeing some of the improvements I made to my Casita trailer, and thanks for watching.